Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon tank and I just got done feeding everybody in the fish room and when I was feeding my quarantine tank I just realized there's so many red wag platies in there it's just getting ridiculous there's dozens of them in there and so I made a couple of quick scoops with my net and I collected up a bunch of red wag platies and I let them go in this tank. And I just saw one make a dash for it and got down near the bottom underneath of the power head. But other than that, I don't see any. I put them in here, I went in the other room, I got my camera and I came back and now I do not see any. I do see a lot of activity on the bottom with the uh, plecos down there. You can see that tail wagging around. Uh, that is either my pleco or actually what I think that is, is my uh, feather fin squeaker, a new Synodontis catfish. And that's exactly what it is. I can see its tail now. Uh, that is a fish that I've not seen very much of since I put it in this tank. And we are likewise not going to see very much of it again this evening. But it is still in there, so that's good to see. Uh, now, if we look over here, we can see that tail right there. That is one of my plecos. So I'm not sure what all the activity with the catfish was, but I do not see any of these little platies swimming around unless they're up near the top, and I don't see any swimming around near the surface. So they are either all doing a really good job right now of hiding, or a lot of them got gobbled up very quickly, and I can't imagine that's the case. Now, I did put them in here with the expectation that a lot of them were going to get gobbled up. I'm fully aware of that. I've got everything in here from that Tenopoma, which is a piscivore. That's a fish that lives in the wild by eating other fish. It also eats insects and other little small whatevers that land on the surface of the water. Uh, but that is a fish that will very much eat any fish small enough to fit in its very large mouth. So I expect that one will get some of the mollies, or uh, platies rather. And then of course I've got rainbow fish, and then of course that big angel fish back there, and even the garamis there might eat some of the smaller uh, platies in there. I just, I cannot believe I'm not seeing any of them. I thought for sure we would get some on camera. So maybe I'll put another scoop in. And we'll see what happens in a day or two if we don't see any more come out. But this is where my source material came from. You can see there are a lot of them left. And I took two big uh, scoops out. Now, of course, when I open the lid and waggle my fingers around, they usually all come running right over because they think it's going to be dinner time. And so you can see how I can get a bunch of them right there to the top very quickly and then go in with the net and scoop a bunch out. So I did that twice and I got probably the majority of them out of the tank. Oh, look, there's my catfish swimming around again. So that is my African featherfin squeaker. Oh, he's tussling with a, um, one of my plecos, one of my chocolate zebra plecos. They're both under that rock. That's what all the commotion's about. It's got nothing to do with those uh, platies going into the tank. So if anybody else saw any of these little platies swimming around uh, during the video, while well, I did not, because I can't have my eyes everywhere at once. So if you saw any while I was looking elsewhere, let me know in the comment section because I have not seen any with the exception of that one when we first started shooting the video I saw one make a dash for it and go down underneath of the power head and I did not even see it come out so I don't know whether it got eaten down there or what but I did see the uh, angelfish going after it like it was trying to eat it oh there's one yay we finally get to see one so I wasn't kidding when I said I put a bunch of little ones in there. So there's one. And as you can imagine, that's probably not going to be very long lived in this tank. So that gives us a little bit more idea of scale to think about where they're hiding in all these little tiny nooks and crannies. So it's entirely possible that they'll grow out 
to be, you know, at least a few of them might make it to size. But then when you consider I've got predators in the tank that are that big, it's maybe not so... Uh, that tenopoma right there could probably eat nearly a full-grown platy. If not, just a straight-up full-grown platy could fit in that thing's mouth. So I don't know. We'll see. But we definitely still have at least one left in the tank. And I can see my shark down at the other end of the tank chasing the um, Siamese algae eaters around. So the shark's not interested in the little platies. But everything else is going to be. So there you go. There's a little update on my 125. It's got some new fish in there. Or sort of, maybe. We'll see. So make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to check out my other channel where we do outdoor stuff and a variety of different videos over there. So check out Dan's Outdoors and more. There's a link down in the description below. Make sure you're subscribed there. Make sure you're subscribed here. Don't forget this is my 125. Thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon in the next one.